Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, in the past. Uh, tēnā koe, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much for this opportunity and reply. Um, can I thank the Honourable Marion Street, who some time no, ago. No, um, or, or, order. Can I just ask the people on the cross benches to um, settle down? We'll start this time again. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, tēnā koe. Thank you very much. Mr. Speaker, can I first start by thanking uh, the Honourable Marion Street, who uh, attempted to bring this bill into the House a number of uh, years ago. And interestingly enough, if you, see the hand, if you look through the Hansard and look through the debate, I'm not exactly surprised to hear what we've heard from the government this evening. In fact, it's almost a cut-and-paste um, attempt to try and belittle this bill. Mr Speaker, <clears throat> um, Trade Aid presented a petition signed by 17,000 people in 2005. That's over a decade ago. I, I, I'd imagine, and in fact I'd bet, that if that petition was to run, and this is an idea for us to consider again, if that petition was to run again, I dare say there would be more than 17,000 people who would support uh, this bill, uh, or the intention of this bill, and I want to thank them for their efforts in years gone past. Mr Speaker, as I look across this House, I wonder how differently it would be if People told Kate Shepherd and the women's suffrage movement that's too hard to do. I wonder how different this House would look. I wonder, Mr Speaker, how different New Zealand would look if members in this House told my esteemed colleague here, Louisa Wall, that the marriage equality bill was too hard to do. <laughs> that it was too hard to do. I wonder how different New Zealand would look if, in the face of such odds, my colleague backed down. We are fortunate that she did not. Mr Speaker, I wonder too then, from the House to New Zealand to across the world, what the world would look like if David Longy backed down in front of the major superpowers of the world and stood up for nuclear-free New Zealand, Aotearoa. Mr Speaker, there are three examples of brave uh, positions taken by socially progressive parties, socially progressive politicians in Aotearoa New Zealand to make a change here in this House, across Aotearoa New Zealand and indeed in the world. Mr Speaker, I take the um, point by um, Mr Tabuto and I do want to thank New Zealand First, the Green Party for their outright support of this bill. And I take his point, and I believe in it. Human rights, if adhered to, if promoted, is in fact good for business. Is in fact good for business. Mr Speaker, I wonder when many um, customers uh, walk through a jewellery store, they see a diamond. And I wonder what they think about that diamond, where that diamond come from. It is well documented, the blood diamond trade. And to say that it is just simply too hard to make a stand against such an abhorrent trade, then, Mr Speaker, I'm afraid we, this world is going to be a poorer place. This world will be a poorer place if we back down from taking a stand. In a time when when uh, trade is as important to Aotearoa New Zealand as it was in the time of my ancestors. Mr Speaker, I wonder, is our country, is our government brave enough to redefine the landscape of trade moving into the future? I wonder if they're brave enough. Of course, the um, contributions this evening, Mr Speaker, while I do thank many members across the House for their praise of my athletic skill on the rugby field, and um, uh, I'm sure I heard some mention my good looks. Mr Speaker, I do, want to thank, I do want to thank them for their praise, but I am saddened to hear that um, uh, they aren't, the government isn't brave enough to support this bill and allow democratic, democratic processes. No, order, order. The, sorry. The, the member can't accuse another party of a lack of bravery. Yeah. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, so, Mr Speaker, look, in closing, I understand my time uh, is nearly up. 
I want to finish with the words, actually words to a song uh, known, uh, the leader of the opposition knows all the words to this song, I can say. And it goes, old pirates, yes, they rob I. Sold I to the merchant ships. Minutes after they took I from the bottomless pit. Mr. Speaker, I hope that, gov that this country takes a stand against slavery right across the world. Mr. Speaker, tēnā. Question.